Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shop. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, man. Okay, so on the last episode of 10 Minutes of Shop, we did. Uh, we said that we would do a state test. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, where we would test our own knowledge. So if you want to check that out, we did that on Raccoon Tweeties, our other show. There's a lot of clips. Very busy week yes. at Chang's. So if you're interested, check that out. Also, we... Talk about all of our studio upgrades Ooh. and the Raccoon Tweeties episode if you're interested in that. Ever heard of it? Yeah, people were talking about how we need to have the uh, weird angled mics, but these are the mics. We just need to find the weird angle now. You know oh, how they, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, check that out. Also, uh, congratulations to the people that got a chance to see our Joe Rogan review oh, yeah. of this 2006 special. That and his live at the Tabernacle, we do reviews of that. Those are also on the Patreon as well. And, and shout then, out to the new Hawks and the mm-hmm. one of a thousands that have signed up for our Patreon, yes. dude. We, uh, I can't talk. Yeah, you got you guys are our North Star. We really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the show. For shows ourselves, I'm going to be at uh, the Chatterbox in Govina December 17th. Gerardo? Uh, December 21st, I am at the Stand-Up Comedy Club in Bellflower opening for Jesus Sepulveda. And on December 28th, I am at the Ontario Improv with the one and only Eric Schwartz. And then, drum roll please, but <laughs> the February 2nd, my homie Christian Zaragoza got his own spot at the Yoohoo Room in Flappers, dude. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah. Flappers. Ever heard of it? it That's like uh, one of our, our my North Stars. Yeah. So Gerardo's going to be there. February 2nd. So it's a, a little ways out, but I wanted you guys to be aware yeah. of that. It's but, a big night. But anyways, dude. Yeah. Okay. That's the... No. That's not why you're here. You're here to watch 10 Minutes of Shab. So play the chin clip, start the timer now. All right. I'm glad you started the timer, dude, because we got a lot of clips to get through, man. Boom. Uh, I wasn't even ready. The first clip is uh, recently posted six hours ago. Made me laugh very oh, hard. Dang. Uh, it might not even have been seen in uh, Australia yet. Uh, yeah. Great brains, Bree. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> best brains. <laughs> this one's posted by PP Stains in, <laughs> in a front. <laughs> I like the name. It's called uh, Into the Mind of a Redact Fat Patrick. Mm. All right. Do you have any predictions for this? Well, there's something about, oh, I, you know, you, I heard part of the clip when you played. The, he's going to say body dysmorphia. Oh, right? fuck. That was the funniest part. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's play this shit. Got to remember so when you cute. have children that, that they get embarrassed and you have to be really careful of not embarrassing them. Because yeah. I, would, I would scold them in front of people and it's, it's embarrassing. Yeah. Then. Because, but then it becomes, then they it, it becomes issues do. for them and then it, pa- it rears its head. I remember being life. embarrassed. Is there, is there anything <laughs> worse than the feeling of embarrassment? You know, I, and it's well documented. I have body morphia issues. <laughs> <laughs> body morphia. It sounds like anamorphs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I would love for him to describe what he thinks body dysmorphia or body amorphia is or morphia. Does he have amorphia? There's only one way to find out. Let's go back let's a little see, bit here, dude. Let's, see, let's do the rewind. Let's see. Feeling of embarrassment? You know, I, and it's well documented. I have body morphia issues. Morphia. Morphy. Morphia issues. Morphia. Yeah. Yeah. Like if Morpheus from the Matrix was a woman. <laughs> Take the red pill or the blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, B. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, let's. You want to finish this? Yeah. That was the best part, but it gets, yeah. yeah. So I, and I remember when my, my dad bought that Neapolitan ice cream, <laughs> and it was... Uh, it was uh, <laughs> Neopolitan. <laughs> Neopolitan. <laughs> I was just laughing at the specific memory there. Yeah. As Neapolitan, I think. That's the three different kinds of yeah. ice cream there. Glad Shab had a good childhood. Eight inches. Let's see. Strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. And I hated the chocolate. And I loved the strawberry. I remember I ate all the strawberry. And I was chilling on the couch. Like, you know, my dad was, you know, he worked nine to four, worked his ass off. Came home, probably was fiending for some strawberry ice, ice cream goes in there and he goes bren because i was always the ice cream kid he goes bren and he he goes you ate all the ice cream i go i only ate the strawberry he goes god you fat pig do you think huh that's but pretty not, hard not like, that's pretty harsh yeah do you think his dad was madder because he's like not even my real son <laughs> he's like this this kid who i have to pretend like is my son yeah and he ate all my ice cream good douche <laughs> He's a good man for not Kadushian. I mean, even if his dad is white, that's a very Latino thing to say to your kid, dude. Two birth certificates. I yeah. mean, two words, birth certificate. Fuck, fuck yeah. that. You got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were, sorry, you were just like, that's a very Latino thing to yeah. say. Yeah. Calling your kid a fat pig? My dad did that a couple of times. Mm. One of the thousand, B. <laughs> Let's see here. Like, mean was yeah. like, God, you fat pig. 
But no, I, it sounds worse when I'm saying Yeah, he was just saying He's like, God, like, you fat pig. Like, yeah. God damn, dude. And then walked yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, dude. Really? Oh, tattooed on the heart. Fat, fat pig. Yeah. I'll be Big Bob. You fat like, Patrick. No, no, fat Patrick. Patrick. You gave me cat. Whoa, calm down, bro. Damn. Fat <laughs> Patrick. Dog, I'm about to give you some meat. <laughs> all right, all right, you going to get this hot meat? Out. Fat Patrick <laughs> is back. Hey. Sorry. Dog, I'm about to ship this fist around your goddamn Whoa, f- mouth, oh, dog. Dude. You call oh, me really? Fat Patrick, uh, dog. Oh, dude. Job. I called you Fat Patrick one time, guys. And on previous episodes, too, oh, dog. Sorry, uh, dude. I'm keeping track, I bro. Think, hit him with the deal, Fat Patrick. Here's a deal. <laughs> bro, you have quick call me. <laughs> you gotta stop I ain't having it, dog. I, hey, dude, if there's a line in the sand, that's the line, dog. Uh, <laughs> he has so much fun saying Tattooed it. Tattooed on the heart. <laughs> At least he didn't call him oh, fat pig. For life. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Any thoughts on fat Patrick, dude? I mean, it's such a funny name. <laughs> yeah. It's so random. I don't I don't know what the... It's just another Theo creation. There's no real... Where, why Patrick? I think SpongeBob. I could probably be wrong, but SpongeBob. I don't watch SpongeBob. Yeah. I've never seen a great show. But Patrick is fat in SpongeBob, right? I don't. Is, is Patrick the other guy? The yeah. pink thing? Yeah. The pink I've, starfish, dude. I, I've not watched that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. Actually, I actually envy you for not watching it. We got we got little kids running around, you know, quinceaneras that you have to go to, Cheetos yeah. and everything and flying. You're oh, watching. yeah. You're watching. You're watching, dude. What is uh, SpongeBob fucking. Uh, Rugrats with salsa on it, dude. <laughs> I got there, dude. Got I got there. there. All right, this one's hilarious. It's a picture post by Organic Possession Fifty Three. It's called Benden, and as you can see, the caption on a video posted by the one and only Brendan Schaub and Addiction Motorsports says Benden's Ford Lightning is not a lemon. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of someone taking the time to make that. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Is uh, is one of the producers homeless? That's the question. B. Oh shoot. Yeah. Well, hopefully, thankfully, they didn't put Brenda. That would have been very um, mis- unfortunate. Uh, this one's posted by Joe Demofo. It's called Dana White steals super fight matchmaking from Bapa. Let's see here. Um. So Dana White was on the Nelk Boys podcast, and he said there's going to be a big super fight in 2024, but it doesn't involve Conor McGregor. <laughs> And then your boy was trending. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming up. I want the world to know. I'm- dude, Brendan's got some pipes on him, dude. <laughs> you think it's a good singing voice? Oh, the best is, dude. <laughs> I I think it's funny that he's doing the. It's it's sort of like a Delia thing. <laughs> he's like he's got his face covered. Though I can't even though. <laughs> I'm about to drop some shit on you right now, though. I. Sh- he copies everything. You've been doing Delia voice a lot lately, dude. I can't stop. <laughs> that's that's, that's a disease. <laughs> <It's> like Callan <laughs> that's voice. Callan voice, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't want it any other way, B. Let's see. Made that fight up, Joe. Um, yeah, then I just randomly was like, I was just looking at doing my research, my sources, okay? I, I, I did go to my sources. By sources, I mean myself in my underwear at 4 a.m. just scouring Instagram. I looked at GSP. I'm like, this dude's getting in shape. Why is he getting such good shape? Well, that's kind of like our like, sources, oh. dude. You know, when we t- think about things to talk about in Raccoon Tweeties, we're just in our underwear at 4 a.m., you know? Yeah, it's a totally normal to be... Naked, fully awake at 4 a.m. looking at George St. Pierre's profile. Yeah. GSP, dude. That's like well, what you do, dude. Exactly. Seven dude. times a week. <laughs> oh, really, dude? <laughs> we got best brains, B. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. I'm just looking at George's profile. Yeah. Trying to be a little bit more like Bapa. Let's see here. <laughs> well, you had that grappling tournament, but they called it off. And people were like, yeah, he was hurt. I'm like, was he? Or was the UFC like, hey, bud, you're going pretty hard in the paint for this bullshit grappling competition how about you just put on some small four ounce gloves and we get you right back in the cage and he was like i might be down for that I'm like yeah and guess who else wants to do it the guy you're supposed to grapple nick diaz is also down same thing you're just putting on some four ounce leather gloves instead of just grappling for 15 minutes you're actually going to punch each other in the face and get paid way more money and they both went i'm in and then dana watched my show at 9 a.m. live last week and went, holy shit, job! I've always loved you and made this fight. <laughs> and it's trending everywhere. <laughs> it's so hilarious. Mm. People are like, oh, what are your sources? I'm like, there are none, dude, but it's going to fruition, you fucks. 
No. Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah. No, I have no idea the you know how true that claim is that Dana White is getting his marketing ideas from watching Brennan Shop's podcast. But what I was drawn to in that clip is the merch table. Seems to be a lot of merch. Oh. A lot of rain, happy hippo. Um, and then I think Magic Mind. Got to like be Magic more Mind. Stuff. We got to get more merch, Bob. Yeah. Bye. You're speaking facts right now. Slacking. Dude. We need to get some alpha brain in this hizzy. Take like seven capsules of that, dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I heard, though? What was that? I heard people talking about this on the streets about Timos. Did you... Do you know what I'm talking about? The truck Do you hear this? The truckster? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you love that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, truck stickers. No, but I heard that... Do you know what people are saying about us? Eight inches. <laughs> they meant no. They're saying raccoon tweeties ain't got no merch. Oh fuck! I did see that. Yeah, I meant to say ten minutes of shop ain't got no merch. <laughs> Both don't. Cooney ain't got, got no went merch. It's been Cooney a lot. Ain't got no merch. Yeah. yeah, but you're also not running for president, B. That's true. Uh, this one's posted by Dicey Redact. Always love that name. Yeah. It's called Retail Therapy. Teach them young. Hmm. <laughs> Very ambiguous title. Let's see. Buzzing. Yeah. I don't I'm buzzing, dude. Baby gets out of the hospital today. Just got the call. Wow. Golf clap. Golf clap. <laughs> Baby's coming out. I didn't, uh, that's amazing. They said they went in there. She was like this. Where's my dad? <laughs> really? Oh, nah. Where's my that's, dad? That's pretty funny. <laughs> I like that joke, dude. What? The baby coming out and being like, where's my dad? <laughs> that's pretty cool. Pretty random. Oh, really? Very random. I mean, yeah. what comedy isn't random, Daddy? You're right. You ever had a monster in your closet and thought it was gay? <laughs> right? <laughs> Same thing. Right. Best right. brains. Wait, <laughs> how long has has she been in the hospital? She had emergency surgery on Monday night about 4 a.m. And then it went zero to 100, and it was super dangerous. And then... Pause it for a second? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. You're looking back, you know, you're, as an adult, you're looking back and uh, somebody's like, Oh, there's video of from when your dad uh, was like knew that you were born, and they're oh let's watch it, and then your dad is wearing those sunglasses, <laughs> talking about you, <laughs> like oh shit, dad, you're cool man, yeah. you have an Indians jersey on. <laughs> Are you from Cleveland, dad? <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> you have a camo Indians jersey on and sunglasses from that are those are that's like those uh, the hood. What is it like when you're your gangster? Remember like those little clips where it's like so, like a cat knocking off a glass and they're like dun 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 <laughs> yeah. dun dun yeah. and then they put the sunglasses on the yeah. cat. Those are the glasses. The thug life. Thug life. That's yeah. what I was going for. Mm -hmm. Best brains thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I would uh I would be like, Dad, did everyone dress like that back then? Or just you know what I mean? <laughs> the Sopranos meme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a bad show? Does Uncle v does Uncle Brendan have a have a bad podcast back in the day? <laughs> Did Uncle Brendan? <laughs> Let's see. We'll get there. Uh, there so since shoot Tuesday morning, since Tuesday morning, so it's been getting, a week. Been a week. Oh. Couldn't, couldn't touch baby. Couldn't hold the baby. My wife held the baby for the first time yesterday. Mm. She's been in the NIC unit, so you know with the lungs, they weren't sure. Oh. And she had breathing too. It was rough. Your, your wife. No, my the baby. The baby, yeah. Oh, fuck. It was rough. Let me take these off while I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear all that. <laughs> uh, well, everything, everybody's okay. I'm, I'm glad people are okay. Yeah. But the, let me take these ridiculous. What if you had like a clown thing on, or like one of those like uh, disguise things with a fake nose and the thing? Let me take this off for a second. <laughs> yeah. like, or he has like a bandana on. He's, let me take the bandana off. Or that off soy boy hat, that fucking <laughs> fat fedora hat. <laughs> He's in a full Dragon Ball Z costume. Yeah. Let me just take this shit off real quick. <laughs> while I'm being serious. <laughs> no, but it is important to say I'm happy everything turned out great, dude. That could have went south real fast, you know? Yeah, me too. But I think they should all do that. They should have the like Delia be like, let me put my sword away real quick. Because I'm being serious. <laughs> Montez is wearing a target shirt. He's like, let me take this target shirt off real quick. He's just like Fred, Fred Flintstone. Right? Fred Flintstone? <laughs> Fred, that's correct. correct. Yeah, yeah Fred. he's just like Fred Flintstone. Let me put this uh, outfit away real quick. <laughs> Let's see here. I know. It's what? Made oh, it through, dude. Though, huh? Made it through, baby. Here's the thing. Now you three baby, strong. Baby's coming home today, and my Ford Lightning. Move this man. Move <laughs> <laughs> this man. Reddit. Okay. Don't know much about Reddit. A couple of good douching uh, moments in that clip, which you know, be cool, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, this is not closing. All right, let's go to the next one then. 
This one is, yeah, congratulations on the new kid, though, Bapa. That's fucking dope. Yeah, man. <clears throat> um, World needs more shops. Yes. Couldn't have said it better myself. And dude. I'm not even a numbers guy. The not evenest. <laughs> uh, all right, so this one's posted by Eddie Pool 8 Millimeter. It's called The Worst Interview Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Great title, never seen it. Uh, I don't know who these people are on here. So let's, let's see. Me neither. Same shit. But did you, your your parents, they had to... <laughs> Put, put, putting you guys in this. Th What's with this framing, dude? Why is he so small? No, I don't know. That is, yeah, that's a good point. Parents, like parents. Like yeah. The, the fruit. Parents. <laughs> <laughs> there had to be a, a, a plan, right? Like there was a plan as far as. <laughs> no, they do not they, look they would, interesting. You, they couldn't just be like, right, no school today, just do right. jujitsu. So I'm, I'm. That's a good question. I'm so curious about your dad. Like, right. as a dad, <laughs> it'd be hard for me to pull him out of school. Like, these kids time. got it because everyone thinks right. their kid has it. Especially with. I want Shab to interview us so he can tell me about my life. Yeah. He just tells me what's going on. I don't have to answer anything. It's a good, actually the best interview. Yeah. In my opinion. Mm hmm I just want to hear Shab, dude. That's it. Yeah. I want to hear Shab break down what he thinks about my life. Yeah. All right. This next one, dude, we all know this clip, dude. Oh, yeah. It's called Good with the subtitle Dicey Dicey posted by Hey As A Kite. Gerardo, do you know what time this clip was posted? I think you do. 4.34 in the morning, dude. Exactly, B. Before my enemies, good. <laughs> Let's see. He said, I already know what you're going to say. <laughs> I said, well, what am I going to say? He said, you're going to say good. Mm -hmm. They said, we will rape your wife in front of you. <laughs> oh, they beat me and tied weights to my testicles. Yep. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. They took me I, was, to I thought it was just going to be the good thing. Me. Good. Because I good. Um, hang myself um, a couple times. Good. <laughs> The guitar thing. I'm what do you pause for a second? Good. So it it's like this is it's pretty hard to yeah. listen to that and then hear good. But the guitar thing is so funny that I think it it, it brings me back in. Oh, okay. Like you could say the most horrific thing ever, which we just heard. And yeah. I feel bad for all these people. Yeah. But then when it's like, <laughs> I'm, like I'm back in, Daddy. <laughs> Strap the fuck in. <laughs> It's so funny. Yeah. This clip is so cringe. <laughs> Let's see here. America deserved 9 11, dude. Fuck it. I'm saying it. We're there to good. <laughs> so I kicked her in the pussy. Damn. Good. Yeah. I kept the uh, <laughs> mummified uh, head and skull of one of the victims in the case in my locker at work. Good. <laughs> Wow, dude! My Compliments to the came chef. To me, and he said that his wife has died. I said, "Good." <laughs> <laughs> uh, that first uh, part was pretty hardcore, but you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one was requested by Cooney. Oh. It's called. Uh, it's posted by Fox News Dad. Great name. It's called "Walk Me to My Subway," and it's subway workers saying, "Do you want a six-inch or foot-long sub?" And shop saying, eight inches." I mean, perfect. Yeah, well done. Just. Great job. Trim the fat. That's that's the joke. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This is the perfect joke. <laughs> yeah. Good for you, Fox News Dad. Yes, Fox News Dad coming through with the heater. <laughs> All right, this one made me laugh hard, dude. It's 35. <laughs> posted by PP <P>. Stains <laughs> in a front. <laughs> <laughs> Best name B. Uh, check this out, dude. <laughs> 35 is good. 35. 35. 35. Yeah, it's 35 is the number, right? 35. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. That you can pull all that 35. Like that is, that's work ethnic if I've ever seen it. Go oh, for it. Yeah. Dude, how did he find all of them? Maybe you just go through transcripts and look for 35. You know what I mean? I wouldn't know how to do that. Yeah. True, you true. might, Chin. I don't know. <laughs> Stop calling me that. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> this one's posted by Minimum Sky 2305. It's called Straw. This one gave me a good chuckle, dude. They had uh, King Bach on their last episode of uh, wow. Golden Hour, dude. Wow. Vine star. Ever heard of it? Thoughts on King Bach? Just kidding. <laughs> Let's see this. Yeah, I was like in a rush going to the show. I was just getting a coffee and it was you know, transgender, but also try harder. It looked like me with a wig <laughs> That's and full mustache. That's uh, they should have put the picture of him and you'd be surprised with the wig. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. That would have been good editing. Yeah. But it's funny. He talks so fast and wrong that you can't really tell. It's hard to gadoosh him here if you're one of these woke Social justice warriors, because it's like getting a coffee, transgender. You're like, what? <laughs> what? How did you get 
<laughs> Wait, what's going on? I, I just know I'm offended. I don't know what to say, though. Yeah, you you can decipher that he's saying, I guess, that the person that gave him the coffee is transgender. Also, yeah. the stereotype of a barista is that in L.A. is that they're, you know. Part of the community. Yeah, an LGBTQ or like what uh, left or something. Yeah. So is it, did it happen? Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. Let's see. I'm going to start it over. Just Seattle. Kidding. I was like in a rush going to a show. I was oh, just getting Seattle. coffee. And it was- okay, so he was in Seattle. <laughs> I was in a rush. I was going to a show. So I thought to get a coffee. Yeah. Right? You know, transgender. But- and then he just says, yeah, you know, transgender. Is the coffee transgender or a person? Great question. Let's see this one more time really quick. So I was just getting a coffee. And it was you know, transgender. But He does say that the coffee was transgender. Yeah. So they, okay. So that's what it sounds like, right? Yeah. He's saying the coffee is transgender. Maybe he's talking about something we don't even... God knows. Oh, Brennan just called coffee transgender? Like CT. (laughs) CT, dude. Yeah, CT. CT, (laughs) That's what it stands for, coffee transgender. Oh, Oh, best brains be. Let's see. Also, try harder. It looked like me with a wig, full mustache. That's hilarious. And I was just like, oh, hey, bro, can I get a straw? And he's like, bro. And I was like, oh. And I was like... Just give me the fucking straw, dude. I said know? bra. Yeah. And then said dude, yeah. <laughs> bra. Call- right. Yeah. So <laughs> whatever. <laughs> if somebody got mad at you for saying bro, would you be like, just give me the straw, dude? <laughs> 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 would you be like, oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say whatever you want me to say. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, I wouldn't double down and be angry. Yeah. I would say um, straw. I would just be like. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant. Can, I'm sorry yeah. about that. My mistake. Can my, I have a straw? My bad. Straw? Straw? Ever heard of <laughs> yeah. it? Can I still get that straw, brother? <laughs> <laughs> you just Let's say it again. Yeah. Let's see. Put out, I'm going to get back. Yes. Right. right. But it's and like, you still do. It's like. It's okay, just, well, now we're vibing. Uh-huh. Now we're vibing. What are we? <laughs> bad, no vibes. No, 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 this is bad. I don't, I don't get the ending. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Well, any more thoughts on the straw? The way he says straw? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, straw is a classic yeah. Chavism. Yeah. And then he also has problems with straws. Oh, oh, well, Remember his lips like, have problems with straws. Right, oh, that's always too. trying to get it in his mouth. I've been actually pause. working on my my lip technique pause with the straw and trying to do more duck face like Shab does, dude. Oh, maybe you should get some stuff in your lips. Oh, lip, lip filler, dude. Uh huh. Best brains be. Yeah. Only a thousand can get those. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they're running out of uh, candidates. Let's see this one. It's posted by Khabib Time. Mm. Uh, made me laugh very hard. Eight second clip. Talking about fume. That's a problem. <laughs> Let's see this, dude. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. It comes at you fast, dude. Okay. Okay. Talking about our sponsor, Fume. All right. F U M E. And they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is all wrong. <laughs> oh man he misspelled a, th- a three letter word by adding another letter that pays him that pays him talking about our sponsor fume all right f-u-m-e and they look at the problem in a different way Not- <laughs> look at the problem in a different way <laughs> if you're um, a sp- if you're a brand and looking for a podcast to you know say your thing or like to sponsor why would you do this one if you're a fume when you got the accent mark? You know that yeah. Brandon's going to have trouble with an accent mark. Come oh, on, dude. Come on, yeah. Eddie. Come on. That's his that's, greatest that's weakness, one. dude. <laughs> yeah. They don't have marketing geniuses over there. That's for sure. All right. We got another uh, picture post here. It's uh, Chad and X. Chad A N X posted this. Low Kick MMA just posted this. Uh, the tag is at Huevos Rancheros, as you can see. Mm-hmm. Nice little mangina right here. And the zipper looks undone. Uh-oh. Which we've all been there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, love seeing him get dunked on in the wild. <laughs> nice little pose there. The next one's a picture post by user 6590087. Please get a name so I don't have to say all those numbers. <laughs> and it's called Theo. It's got to go take care of some things. What do you think <laughs> about this one, dude? Yeah, man. He continues to be doing living very well, it seems like. Yeah. L- Did I mean, the cheerleaders ask to take a picture with him? Probably, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. Could you imagine? You get to the stage where... Cheerleaders, can we get a picture with you? Seven days a week, Daddy. Uh, Timos will get there one day, though. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Back to some more videos. This one's posted by Dicey Redact again. It's called "The Amazing Racist Redact." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this one. I just saw the title. I was like, "Let's yeah, go." The title's pretty good. Yeah. First travel ball teams uh, tournament play. So you're playing some pretty good freaking teams, man. You're not playing in that little. 
Little League around the corner anymore. These kids are not white, and they've <laughs> been playing forever. They don't miss. It was a good learning experience for the team, good learning experience for my son. He dominated the last league, but they were all white kids. So he got hit with a fresh, wet dick in the face Oh by my these God. kids who are not yeah. white and can play them some ball. Okay, it's a good learning experience for him. What are you retarded? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not retarded. But what are you <laughs> Oh man. Rest in peace, Norm McDonald, dude. That was hilarious. But also, dude, boundaries, Brendan. You know what I mean? So much of that is weird. If you're the producer and you gotta cut that out, first of all. Yeah. But then if he keeps doing it, you show the you show him the clip and be like, what do you think? is wrong with this clip like where are the Eight moments inches? where we go wrong <laughs> he's like nothing yeah it's perfect yeah everything is wrong don't don't say that when you're talking about a little league team dude. yeah you that's the thing about shop clips is like the first thing he does that's cringe you're like ah uh, but then it gets even worse it's, you couldn't even imagine i did not think it was going to go into like his talking about his son getting hit in the face with a dick yeah i didn't see that no that is i didn't see it coming so Oh, no pun intended. Oh. But also, shout out to the GOAT, Anthony Jesenik. He got away with that joke. You know what I mean? What? You, comedians get away with it, dude. Oh, that's right. Yeah. They, that famous um, quote from... Uh, that white boy that worked too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Campbell Soup guy. Yeah. <laughs> the he, Campbell Soup guy. He has the Campbell Soup paintings. <laughs> oh. Andy Warhol. Andy, Andy Warhol. Warhol, yes. Yeah, yeah. Best yes, brains. Yes. Best brains, B. All right, let's go to the next one, dude. We're on a roll, dude. A lot of clips today, but we got time for them, dude. This one uh, made me laugh. Also, it's a successful egg, 8345. It's called Jelly Roll Thanks, Theo Vaughn. Quote, my first podcast I ever did was with you. End quote, Bapa Who. A lot of question marks and exclamation points. <laughs> Do you know the reference? So Jelly Roll is going to not know who Brendan is in this clip, right? No. No? So Brendan, remember on last couple episodes of Timos has been saying like Jelly Roll, you know, we were the first podcast he was on. And so Jelly Roll like dispels the rumors, Daddy. Right, he's saying that he wasn't on it. He was on Theo Vaughn's first. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So let's see this. Oh, that's gonna, they're not going to show another clip. It's just this whole thing. I think so. Yeah. Do you think it says like, the Jelly Roll and Donut? But like Donut. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, do you think he's saying that because he wants to thank Theo? more or that he just wants to dispel the rumor that he did Shab's podcast first. No, he's thinking Theo, but Chang's, you know, the translation to Chang's mm -hmm. is Gadoosh Papa, dude. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it, it is funny that he gives, like, people take that term too literally. I'm glad he didn't pull out flowers. I mean, the clip's <laughs> not over yet, so he might do that. Right. Right. But, uh, I yeah, just dude. love it's we. Like, who is, may, what if we misunderstood the situation completely and the guy in the left is jelly, and the guy in the right is roll. That's a good observation, dude. Best brains, B. Yeah. Red redacted. Redacted. The most redacted. Let's see here. <laughs> but the Dana he Y loves episode. Theo Von, dude. Yeah. He feels the way about Theo that Papa does about Toe. Yeah. Why don't you marry him, dude? Right. Mm. <laughs> Come on, B. Uh, this one made me laugh also, dude. Hot week at Chang's, man. This one's Minimum Sky 2305. You know he's on the fryers, daddy. <laughs> uh, it's called Bapa Gets Caught Out Lying. Weird way of saying he got caught lying, but caught out, right? <laughs> uh, let's see what this one's about, dude. Well, actually, we love him. I, yeah, we do love him. I was, <laughs> I, I was told, I thought, okay, so I thought we probably were the closest out of all of us. You might be close. Clo are you close with Eric? I've known Eric you, probably the while. longest. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. But then someone told me that you were going to be on, and I was like, oh, cool. Who whose idea was this? Mine. No, no yeah. one's taking credit. This was my idea. It was. No, it's yeah. my idea. No, dude, this, this was my idea. idea. Well, let's no, hear, my idea. Let's hear. You yeah, know. How did it all go down? Let's hear. Let's hear your story. Uh, Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's in on Bapa just lying and saying crazy shit. We all yeah. enjoy it. Uh, us cats, the people he does a show with, mm -hmm. it's a fun thing. It's always a good time when Bapa good. lies. B. Absolutely. Let's see. Enrique, who we all know, uh -huh. he was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, it's just booking guests is an issue. And he's like, oh, man, you should always hit me up. This is three months ago at the Laugh Factory. Mm -hmm. And he was like, any, any, anybody I know, let me know, man. I was like, well, we love King. And like King's close with all of us. He's like, done. 
So then a month later, I follow. I'm like, yo, what's up with King? Because I don't like you reaching King out. Charles. I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I don't like reaching out myself. Hilarious. I hate right. booking people because right. we're all busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then last week he hit me up. He's like, yo, King is down. I was like, all right, cool. All right. And that's how this went down. All right. All well, right. That's his story. Ready for my story? Yeah. yeah. How did it really happen? How, this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> what's he gonna say? I, before what he what I predict what he said, like this is another actually hotline thing. Oh, hello. Yeah. hello? No, no, we got a lot of calls about this today. No, it was King Box idea. Yeah, thanks for calling in. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Hey, hello? No, no, our dad would never have called him a fat pig. Are you kidding me? <laughs> our father? No, no, no. I, he's a very nice man. He's also not really uh, Shop's dad. He also resembles Patrick. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's All also right. not Shop's dad. <laughs> um, what's he going to... Uh, King Bach is going to be like, Yo, I hit Chris up on Instagram. That's it. Oh, okay. So you think you hit up Chris? Good, good. I don't know. Um, this would be the funniest answer because Shav is saying that it's his, his idea. <laughs> and also, he already said that it was his idea. Yeah. Right? Bach. This is a real uh, tangling of the minds. Yeah, dude. Two of the thousand right here. Let's see. I'm over there chilling. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, At the house? <laughs> No, I was on the street somewhere. Okay. Chilling. I was walking. Really chilling. I like and I was fa- like, I, like uh, I hit up um I hit up Trevor Wallace. Mm. Love and him. uh I was like, yo, I seen the pod. Let me hop on the pod. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then he was like, Yeah, we'll never come through. And then I was like, I ain't never did Chris's pod mm-hmm. yet either. Mm-hmm. So I hit up Enrique and I'm like, yo, what's up with uh what's up with me hopping on uh Chris's pod? Mm. And he said He's, that's Brendan's pod. Well, yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so that's what happened. Well, it's so, it's obviously ours. not so then, anymore. So then Enrique, it's ours. is it ours? <laughs> it's ours. Yeah. <laughs> so then Enrique, um, Enrique texts you mm. right then and there last oh, week, and he's like, "Oh, just go next Tuesday." I was like, "That was quick." Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, quick. I've been waiting. Well, <laughs> well you never well, said nothing. I don't want to deal with it myself. Oh, I, it's always awkward. It's like one of those. Hey. Yeah, so I think uh, definitely. Oh, thinking that you want to do Trevor Wallace's or uh, Chris D'Elia's podcast is a, a street thought versus an in-the-house thought. Yeah. You're going to be walking on the street. Um, is Enrique the new Marg? I'm um, not sure. He's like, because Marg probably books some stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wonder if Enrique's up there. He's got a book all. He's got a book King Bach. Deal with the personalities there. Get Adderall. Mm-hmm. You know, make sure all Message that, baddies. Message baddies. Yeah. You know, check the numbers. Work, make sure house... How socials are doing. Make sure that the plant is filled with uh, bottles of uh, Jack. Right. I wonder if Enrique is the guy with the hoodie, the the beanie that we saw. That looks like he's in Hamas. Remember mm. from the other thing? Oh, who knows? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Could be. There has been a lot of Hamas clips on uh, Chang's this week. I didn't put a lot of them in here. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So this one, it might be cut out of the episode because it's really long, and if there's something good in it, it'll stay. Mm-hmm. But uh, we need to watch him do stand up before right. time we to can't time, dude. pass by stand up. Yeah. Those are gold usually. Uh, posted by Pharrell Eighties, it's called "The Working Out of an All Time Classic Closing Bit." <laughs> the question is, did he do this before Gringo Poppy or after? Who knows, dude? Let's hope well, it only was people after. in Australia know. Oh, true, true. Let's see. So first time in the house, three a.m. here. <laughs> What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Like whatever. So I get all these cameras, the ring stuff, the cameras, the doorbell. I have all this security in my house. It is crazy. Get out of the way. So I get all the ring stuff. What I didn't know about ring is when you get all the stuff, you download the app. On that app is an entire community snitching on each other. It's like Takashi 69 made this app. It's fantastic. I scroll it for hours. I can't get enough of it. No real crimes on there, but it's still fucking interesting. I scroll for hours. They can even, you can even narrow it down to just your little neighborhood. Just the little neighbors around you. So I see my neighbor Susan next to me goes, this goddamn mountain lion ate my fucking cats, man. Enough is enough. I'm like, oh shit, they got a mountain lion problem, man. Then Dave to the right of me goes, yeah, that fucking lion ate all my goddamn dogs, man. It was a bloodbath. Somebody needs to do something like that. So depressing. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> You're like, and they're like a pitter-patter of laughter. So my neighbors had all their pets eaten by a lion. <laughs> they just wait you hold for laughter. Right? <laughs> Can you bel- and then another guy was like, a lion ate my wife. Hold for laughter. And then... Do you remember the punchline? <laughs> uh, no, what is it? That one of the neighbors thought that their Amazon package was stolen by the lion. 
Oh, you didn't remember that? No, I oh, forgot. Oh, I'm sure it's coming up, dude. Let's see. Okay. And then three doors down, Susan goes, yeah, that fucking mountain lion stole my Amazon package. I'm like, <laughs> uh, what do you have to say for yourself, Cooney? That wasn't a patter of laughter, dude. That was a fucking joke. That's true. That is a joke. A bad joke. Oh, be cool. Okay, <laughs> we'll cut that part out, dude. Come on. That's Papa uh, Papa Brendan, dude. I don't know why there would be laughter for any ate our dog. The lion ate the dogs. <laughs> it's like so tragic. And then someone's like, Amazon package. But that's not as bad. You know, right? <laughs> Big dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brandon's one of the few comedians that has more alcohol sales than ticket sales, dude. <laughs> <laughs> People are there for the Tiger thing. <laughs> yeah, let's see. So I get an idea. That night I'm thinking, I'm like, ooh, I don't want to introduce myself to the neighbors. Yeah, I don't want to do. Yep, I got this. So the next morning I make a profile. Thick neighbor one. I go, yo, new guy here. Here's your little kitty problem. Consider it done. It's going down. <laughs> Roger, my neighbor, he goes, oh my God, you're the saver we've been looking for. I go, yeah, that's right, dude. Do you like mountain, mountain lion meat? Fire up the fucking grill, Roger. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, all right, I need a gun to do this fucking thing out. So I go. <laughs> <laughs> this random name. There's a, that was cut from the special, and Thick Boy number one was cut from the special, right? Right, right. Username on Ring, the app. Fire up the grill, Thomas. <laughs> Fire up the grill, Sigmund. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably last name. Let's see. Buy my first gun, Texas. That's right, Houston. I buy my first fucking gun. Now, I never owned a gun. I get upsold like a motherfucker. They, they sold me an AR-15. It's so intense. It has the Punisher logo etched on the side of it. It has like the red laser scope. It's so fucking intense. I played Call of Duty like three times. I'll figure it out. Whatever. So. Right. So in my head, that thing has shown up three nights in a row at 3 a.m. So in my head, I'm like, all right, I'm going to have my other boots on. Don't, don't make fun of me. I'm coming in with other boots. So I have my fucking... Okay. Boots. So he learned to space that part out a little bit for the yeah. special. So this is pro- this has got to be before. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I, I don't believe that the guy in Chang's is lying. Oh, okay. So it's just showing, it's showing the making of the, la- the closer. Which we need more of that, dude. Right. We need this, more I mean, this of could, This is like... This could be in the documentary that we make about mm-hmm. the Gringo Poppy. If sure. we have this in the documentary, we need to have an interview with Shab with like the three camera setup and being like, yeah, you know, the reasons why he cut these parts yeah, out. Yeah, why'd you get Roger out? Yeah. Why, why the Thick is the name, the username? The name? username on Ring is Thick right. Boy 1. Thick Boy 1. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little too inside, I think, because oh, it's okay. like they're not going to know that he has like Thick Boy merch necessarily in yeah. the special. But when you're global, is anything inside, right? That's true. He yeah. does do global tours. Let's see here. I'll be in my undies. It'll be in bed, right? I'll have my fucking gun. Big dick out the front. Anyways, I'll be fucking... I threw that in there. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm fucking... I'll be pacing. Okay, so I'm happy he didn't say sorry about that, dude. I'm not happy. I think... I mean, you're happy that you didn't get to see the come in or like why are you happy i'm happy he didn't go big dick on me sorry about that because maybe that lady really was offended dude and he hit oh me. so it's a real moment it's a real right, moment right right okay. as opposed to something that's rehearsed all right yeah fair mm-hmm. sorry about that is great though it is great yeah but that's what you get mr whole foods we didn't hear that yet you know what i mean that'd be hilarious if you said that <laughs> if there was another nacho cheese moment yeah damn i wish we had where, where can we get this whole set Dude, if this would be viral if there's a nacho. Yeah. 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 I see. don't think he's probably ever done that before. Yeah. Mr. Whole Foods, that's like a new thing. That has to be on the spot. That's a one time thing. Yeah. 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 Or maybe, I mean, who knows? I, who knows, Brandon? Let's see. I hear, open that fucking side door, like, what's up, bitch? And I'll fucking kick him right out. Oh, oh, dude. I Just lo- like the turkey. Yeah. I love the turkey joke. My favorite shop joke. <laughs> right. He took a little bit. I think you should be surprised what he learned there. And he mm-hmm. put it into, uh, Gringo, or the beginnings of this joke for the Gringo Poppy, dude. When you're good, at, if it's not f- broken, don't fix it, dude. That that b- noise he does, I can't even do it as good as he does. Yeah, smartest tool in the shed. Yeah. <laughs> and I look at the camera and go, "World star," and then it goes, "He goes fucking viral." Your boy goes viral. So I used to be fucking sick, man. That next night, same thing. 
fucking 2.30. I get fucking balls eating coffee. I got six cups of Joe in me. I got my gun. Uh, undies, dick, out. Right? I'm fucking... I'm pace up. No, sorry again, but he threw in coffee. He didn't use the coffee in the special. What he's doing is not putting all of his corners in one basket. Oh, sharpest crayon in the box, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, yeah for sure. Let's see here. Like clock two fifty eight, two fifty nine, three a.m. I hear I'm like showtime. I fucking run my yard. Hell yeah! Here's the thing, Houston. I didn't grow up around mountain lions. In my head, I'm thinking like a bobcat. <laughs> I'd see it. I'm like no fluffy fucking wrap around and kick him. I've never seen a mountain lion before, dude. This thing was fucking. It was fucking Mufasa. It was fucking without the. Oh. Rope. Ooh, okay, so a couple things I wanted to say. You saw the jerky herky hand movements there, right? The act out. Who does that remind you of? Dalia. Callan. This Callan. part. This. The, the, oh the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The yeah, thing yeah. like that is fucking yeah, yeah, Callan, dude. Yeah, yeah. Now you know. Recently, check out the Patreon. We watched Tabernacle uh, live. Joe Rogan thing. What does he have in that special, dude? Similar kind of stuff that Callan probably took from him, right? Not, not what I'm going for. However, very true, right? Uh, he has an encounter with the mountain lion, dude. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you're right. The lion on his property or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He saw the mountain lion. It's exactly like Brendan's bit, dude. These guys, man, st similar stuff happens to all of them. Mm -hmm. they, they're they living a different life than us, dude. Yeah. I think it's part of being like in that, like that life. Yeah. Like, like being a murderer. The Babaverse, dude. The Babaverse. You experience things different. Yeah. You know? Different timelines, different... Mm -hmm. uh, situations, a lot of fucking things that make it go like that, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> and animals. Yeah. and an Oh, can't forget the animals, B. Yeah. Let's see here. It's fucking Jack, dude. This, this fucking wine in the mountains is on TRT, dude. I just went, oh, shit, and shut the fucking door. <laughs> There's only one thing left for me to do. Do a bunch of math, suck dick, and become Tiger King. That's how I'm going to... Oh, that got cut out. What the fuck? Do a bunch of meth, suck dick, and become Tiger King. Well, it's yeah, he's just saying because there's a tiger mm -hmm. and he was able to wrangle it, yeah. he could be like the Tiger King guy who smoked meth and had gay sex. See, the only problem there, I respect your assessment, mm. it's not a tiger. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> that went over my... It's a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that's so funny, dude. <laughs> they went from lion to tiger. And then also, isn't that like, didn't that, it was a debate with Rogan and uh, and Dice, remember? What? They were talking about tigers, and he's like, tiger's not the king of the jungle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember? There's a tiger. Joe <laughs> is a tiger. <laughs> See, when Dice does that kind of stuff, it's funny. Yeah. But their thing that they do, they're always like, it's just like, <laughs> and yeah. then you got, <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> You gotta throw the fucking thing fucking. in there, dude. Yeah, yeah. I got You're teaching me how to do. You should yeah. do like TikTok videos. Like, oh. all right, here's how we're gonna do your favorite comic. You ever want to do a great impersonation of somebody like Chris D'Elia, Brian Callen, Brendan Schaub? Well, you're in the right place. Today we're doing. And then you do it, dude. Best step by step. Are, are you chin right now, dude? I might be chinning you up a little bit. What the fuck? Yeah, I might dude? be playing your clip. <laughs> Chin. Chin. <laughs> wow, you're smart, dude. Also, another thing, too. He cut out the part, or he added in the part where he says that the the lion ate Joe Rogan's trash. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't put that in here, dude. I'm just, I'm still laughing at the, when you're like, there's one thing's wrong, dude. It's not a tiger. <laughs> That's so funny. I miss that. Let's see. Let's see the ending here. Dude. Do a bunch of math, suck dick, and become Tiger King. That's how I'm going to do this. <laughs> Houston, I love you guys. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Only one last thing to do, dude. You know, a joke about gay sex. <laughs> Oh, that was a good time, right? That was fun. That was good. We'll that keep good. that in, dude. Yeah, keep it in. Uh, all right. So this next one's posted by Eddie Pool Eight Millimeter. It's called "Quote Nobody Knows Who You Are." I didn't watch this. We might have seen this on the show before. So let's just watch. Like in the back in the green room, and the guy who uh, owns all the things, he goes, "Hey, man. Uh, so I'm not gonna be here for your show. So I'm gonna give you a check now." I'm yeah. like, "Oh, no doubt, man." So I get it, and I'm in. Uh, it's it's sold out. It's big number. So yeah. I just open it up, and it's not what I thought. Right. I go, "Oh, oh, uh, dude." So uh, it says sold out. So I think there's a mistake here. Does that come later? He goes, "Is that a fact?" I go, "Yeah, man. It's in front of the communes." Oh, yeah, man. He goes, 
No problem. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go to my office and talk there so we don't talk in front of your friend's business? And I go, oh, yeah, no problem. I go to the office. He has a cowboy hat on. He puts yeah. a cowboy hat on. He goes, here's the problem. You didn't sell out. He goes, nobody knows who you are. I go, excuse me? He goes, nobody knows who you are. And I go, well, it says sold out. He goes, this thing is not sold out. Damn. It's, it's not even close. He goes, you, work, you got two things working against you. Sooner, Sooners are playing. That's, that's religion around here. So <laughs> Sooners are playing. Ain't nobody coming to your show with the Sooners. Yeah. And then he goes, and then also you had that tornado. That ain't helping either, Papa. Yeah. I go, oh, yeah, no doubt, dude. And then and also nobody knows who you are. And, but he goes, <laughs> he goes, in L.A., New York, I'm sure you do fine. Here, yeah. nobody knows who you are. Yeah. Go, yeah, you keep saying that, dude. Yeah. But it said sold out online. He goes, yeah. we do that to comp the regulars who want tickets to the show. I go, 2,000 tickets? He goes, this thing wasn't moving. We had to do something. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's almost it's it's a talent that he's able to create these characters, write out a whole script for them as if they really exist and said these things. He does it just based off the he has all these stereotypes in his brain that he uses that like he creates scripts for. He's like, there's a guy, right? He's from the South, right? He said, so that nobody knows who you are, right? You got the Sooners, okay? The Sooners game. Also, there's a tornado. I bet if you like look, there's no tornado that day. He just like, it's impressive. I don't think this happened. Is that your takeaway? That is my takeaway. Wow. Yeah. Unreal. I don't it's know. It's also funny to make up something that makes you sound bad. Listen, dude. <laughs> you have your fucking whatever narrative you want to paint, right? Sure. Dude, these shabbisms are so coming like <laughs> yeah, quickly, yeah, dude. Yeah. That's so crazy. You can't even help it anymore. Yeah. Dude. You <laughs> yeah. speak full shabbanese. <laughs> It's a second language. Anyway, in any facet, dude, mm -hmm. these are not made up characters, right? In any facet. He meets them. Yeah, he throws in a couple lines, dude. But what do you expect from the world's best storyteller, dude? Okay. The guy dogged like this and had a cowboy hat. He brought up the Sooners. Yeah. Tornadoes. There's a tornado. He just happened to bring up the stereotypes for that area. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. those stereotypes, where yeah. are they? Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Listen, we got to go. Well, there's a huge gun convention down the street, too. Nobody knows who you are, okay? <laughs> Tickets were not selling, so we told everybody that he was sold out. And that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, what? dude. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I wasn't going to go to shop, but then I was. You know I love shop. We're struggling with ticket sales, so anyone that tries to buy tickets sees that it's sold out. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm on your side now, dude. I'm on your side now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand it. Why he's doing this? It makes him look bad. Yeah, but and it, maybe he thinks it's like a funny story. Yeah. Also, hey, Chin, film this real quick. Yeah. Why would you film that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it makes no sense. Check this. Hey, Chin, I'm going to talk to Chrissy D real quick. Film this. <laughs> and then Chin's <laughs> yeah. like, "You got it, dude." Chris is like, "Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, film us our conversation we're just having outside of the podcast." He's like, "So, which bland white door is the exit?" Real <laughs> quick. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So so I go, well, I, I go, dude, look out there. There's like 18 people in the crowd, dude. This is a giant fucking theater. And he goes, here's the other thing you're dealing with. We are Native American time. So I got to start on time. I go, dude, I can't go out there for 18 people. Yeah. I go, just bring them in the back. I'll do the fucking show in the green room, dude. Please don't make me go out there. Yeah. He goes, I'll tell you what you can do. He puts the cow hat on and goes, you can go out there and you can hell the show. That's what you can do. Yeah. I go, yeah, no doubt, man. <laughs> fucking well. And he, and he goes, you do well, I'm going to have you back. Tell you that. Maybe we'll have you back a few years. Yeah. Dude, Did I, you eat it in front of the 18 people or was fine? So as, as <laughs> my openers... <laughs> <laughs> What's his answer, dude? What's his answer? I think he's gonna say he crushed. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's Bob we're talking about. Yeah. He's so he's mentioning the openers. He didn't give a yes right away, which is probably what you should do, especially if you're asking this for, to be filmed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm gonna say maybe his his openers, they struggled. But <laughs> I came out and I fucking my killed. team. Yeah. yeah, my team fucked <laughs> up. <Yeah. laughs> the team, yeah, always blame the team. Great Papaism right there. Let's see. On stage, the from the tornado, people start coming in, but it still wasn't like no, that, good. No way that'd be good. My feelings are hurt. Nobody know who y'all. Nobody know who y'all. He kept are. saying, "Okay, didn't mention how he did." <laughs> that was the question, Papa. Mm. Yeah, no, that's uh, that is crazy. <laughs> Sad tale. Sad tale from the Papaverse. It's, oh, the, it's just it's insane uh, from a comedian's perspective to say, "I will do the show in the green room." <laughs> no one has ever said that. I know you guys aren't. Part of the a thousand, most of you, but yeah. that's 
a ridiculous thing to say. Uh Uh-oh, Cooney alert, taking things literally, dude. (laughs) Come on in the green room. No, no. (laughs) It's pretty normal to do a sparsely populated show if you're a comedian. So like the the idea that you'd be like, I can't go out. I can't go out there. (laughs) There's only this many people. I mean, if they want you to do it and they're paying you, you do it. (laughs) It makes no sense to be like, come on in the back (laughs) where there's, you have a you have a green room that seats eighteen people. Impressive, but um, what would they? The waiter comes in the green room. The whole th- reason the green room is that the audience can't go in it. Don't Don't it literal. <laughs> <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> All right, this one is uh, posted by Scrimps Campy. <coughs> Scrimps Campy. <laughs> Shrimp Campy, but with misspelling. <laughs> uh, this dude can't be real. All right, let's see. And Bob's like, dude, I'll pick you up in 15 minutes, dude. Just get ready, pack. And I go, all right, well, let me pack my stuff and then let me get Dolly's stuff. Dolly was my chihuahua. He's like, you're not bringing Dolly. No, you can't bring Dolly. I husband. go, what do you mean? <laughs> you're not bringing Dolly. Yeah, fair point. Let him talk, dude. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can bring Dolly. He's very opinionated about this dog thing. Let's keep in mind, this might be the Addy phase. He's out of that now, hopefully. Oh, right, right. So right. that's. Added up. Added up. I feel bad. Kratomed up. He can't stop. Alpha brain. Tiger thick. Rogue nicotine. Helix mattress. Panera lemonade. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) Panera lemonade got me, dude. Let's see. We had to drop we had to drop Dolly off at uh, the uh, shelter. We didn't have to get rid of her. You could have just left her in the crib. Well, it was three or four in the morning. I didn't want to like just drop. I didn't know. So you get her away forever? (laughs) God, dog. Wow. A little <laughs> adversity. He's like, see ya. Whoa. Self-gadoosh. See, that's the problem you run into when you have a pot. Yeah. You say one thing, and then years later, you give your dog away. Especially if your chin's not cutting it out, dude. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, you, let's <laughs> deal with having a pod. You could yourself oh, yeah, on yeah, yeah, That too, that too. Second point, yeah. yeah. He doesn't cut out these clips for you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Yeah, don't brand your podcast to be uncensored, unedited, because you need to edit some things, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what the best brands would do. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's see here. This one is posted by P.P. Stainson. (laughs) He's killing it. Uh, Lips and Diddler grading news show is getting better views than any of Bapa's. Uh, Okay, so Chris D'Elia and Brian Callen started a new show. Good. (laughs) Let's see, dude. I don't know if this that's a true statement, though. Do you think this is a real show? I have no idea. I assume so, but it's. I don't care how many views it gets. I'm not a numbers guy. My show, Bop has got to be involved. My show is the fighter and the kid. Oh, okay. And Golden Hour. You're like those don't even, two shows. Don't even show the clip, dude. No, no. I want to see the clip. <laughs> He's in a French thing. Yeah. French hat. I haven't seen this clip yet because I just read the title. I was like, that's going on the show, dude. Yeah. Look at him. Let's see. With the waffle shirt. All right. I'm gonna do his lips, so I need a real thin paintbrush. Fuck off, dude. I have I have a nice mouth. I, 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 babe, do you have a thinner? You know what? Give me a toothpick for his lips, dude. Are you being real? No, you have a bulbous nose. I didn't realize it. What? Yep, it sucks. I don't have a bulbous nose. I have a fucking Romanesque nose. I have a, I have a. Yeah, it's Roman all over your face. No, I have a Romanesque nose. Yeah, you got Roman nose. It's Roman all over your face. His nose like is moving joke? around his face. Yeah. No, I don't. I, I don't. I don't think it's, it's nice. Marks did it. I told my son I'm going to dedicate myself to him for baseball. <laughs> I'm missing my kids' freaking Little League games. If you're scared, go to church. <laughs> I know the point that Cliff is that, like, it's... I mean, I don't know the point. Like, I'm assuming it's like saying, look at Bapa being ridiculous or whatever mm-hmm. in comparison. But the clip was not good mm-hmm. until Bapa came in. That's what oh, was yeah. icing. The, he made it great. Yeah. Right? It's like two morons talking about their faces. And then Bapa comes in, and he's hilariously magnetic, just being like... Uh, look at my kids' uh, softball games coming up. Going to be in Melbourne, Florida, uh, the sixth. Ah, I can't wait to see my son play baseball. <laughs> Fume, F U M E. I was effort- effortlessly hilarious. You've mentioned this many times before. The one thing we cannot gadoosh about these guys is the outfit choices because we love to dress up, Dave. Yeah, they got good yeah. shit going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those big fr- boy merch? French hats? <laughs> wait, diet starts Monday, dude? <laughs> yeah, dude. No. Dice has Monday? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> we going to get some merch, daddy. We are balls deep in merch at all times. Let's see here. Okay, this one made me laugh. Uh, oh, yeah. This one we watched on the uh, Patreon. Yes. Or, I mean, we watched R- Rogan, who was very Sam Kinnison-esque. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, on the we, Patreon. We also did a couple of uh, Bapa versions of Sam Kinison's name. I thought that was pretty fun. All right. Kinningsley yeah. or something like that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, 12 washing beard. This is Togan's North Star question mark. <laughs> Let's Uh-oh. see. Do you want to stop world hunger? Stop sending them food. Don't send these people another bite, folks. You want to send them something? You want to help? Send them U-Hauls. Send them U-Hauls, some luggage, and send them a guy out there that goes, hey, you know, we've been driving out here every day with your food for like the last, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 years. And we were driving out here a day across the desert, and it occurred to us there wouldn't be world hunger if you people would live where the food is! <laughs> I've seen that. You, you live in a fucking desert! <laughs> This is sand. Yeah. It's sand. You know it's going to be 100 years from now, huh? It's going to be sand. <laughs> you live in a fucking desert. Get your kids, get your shit. We'll make one trip. We'll take you to where the food is. We have deserts in America. We just don't live in them, asshole. <laughs> See, if you, if you don't like this Sam Kennison clip, you don't think it's funny, you got to understand the context of the time. This is blowing people's minds. Yeah. You know, like nobody had done it like this before. Yeah, you know. I'm starting to sound like the murder, and you you, you got to be there at the <laughs> table. You know, at the store, people weren't like, you know, starving people need to move yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm being kind of serious. When you go to the table at the cellar, you get roasted. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering. Uh, I thought this would be fun to do. Mm-hmm. Um, take your favorite Gringo Poppy bit mm-hmm. and. Convert it into a Sam Kinison bit. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Um, you go first. Okay. Um, I don't want to steal yours. She's making beans every day. Fucking tortillas. I need a tater tot once a week. That's good. That's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> White man handout. <laughs> I got one. I got okay. One. Okay. Okay. All right. I see. I see you there. I see you there. Be cool. Be cool. Mr. Whole Foods! (laughs) You're freaking, you're over there. You're dipping your finger and you're dipping it out. You're nacho cheese! (laughs) I'm not good at Sam Kinison, but I like the idea of, I wish somebody with a a Kinison who could do a perfect accent would do the Mr. Whole Foods in that. Do you want to try it? Only if you suck my dick for five minutes in the belly. I won't do that. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) I want that. Uh, Looks like we have a lot of lasers! (laughs) <laughs> all right <laughs> i'll stop here we go that was fun that was good uh worth it all right let's see this one is posted by khabib time it is called rate the new single from thick boy stews uh if it gets caduced from the episode it's because it is you know copyright copyright shadow ban but it will be on the patreon <laughs> let's see and the guy that directed this is me <laughs> <laughs> two shots of the whiskey need two more songs on the jukebox I say we and that's from all our like uh, shows. Whiskey gone now. You can put. Oh come on, dude! When you make music, dude, I it's don't want easy. that. I don't want Chin to talk over it. You don't make music though, dude. What? I notice whenever I oh, show. Oh yeah, I don't make. Music, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I show people my music, I can't stop talking. Sometimes, dude, it's hard. Yeah, you're douching yourself. It, don't douche yourself in the foot. That's why I'm not Jelly Roll, dude. If Jelly mm-hmm. Roll shows you a song, he's not going to talk over it, dude. It I'm Jelly Roll. Itself. Is my brother Potato. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that guy? <laughs> Why did he keep saying we? Is it because he's that fat? He has to be like two people. We came to this, you know, you're the biggest part of our life. That'd be, you, you get so fat that you have to start pluralizing yourself. <laughs> All right, that was really good. I'm not going to talk that. Right. Let's see. Potato. on my tab again. Sorry, I'm babbling. I'm just thinking. Is this a waste of my time? Are we just wasting the night again? Only one thing on my mind. Only one thing on my mind again. If you leaving, then you leaving me right back here alone, baby. We both know that I can go to bed on my own. Cause we know we won't let this go. Said I am leaving, leaving, baby. I 
That's my favorite part. Dude, that song makes you want to get some hot Cheetos, dude. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, dude. I wish I had a freaking bag of hot Cheetos in my hand right now. I'd just yeah. be eating it, listening to the song, mm -hmm. vibing. Mm -hmm. I unironically kind of enjoy every song yeah <laughs> except for when we played those rap songs you remember like the audio just the audio of it oh yeah those are pretty bad but this is good and the last thing we listened to was good and people were like turn it off it's awful i, I i'm st i'm being dead serious i'm enjoying this <laughs> you can have your opinion you can have your painted narrative yeah. okay but in, you may think it's blockbuster the blockbuster is this we think i think i speak for both of us here it's Netflix. Do you, do you agree? Uh, Chin's voice is like Pretty good, right? a fucking flying dove at a funeral. It's beautiful, dude. I think Chin's voice is a hawk. Mm -hmm. And um, the other, some of the rap songs were duck, duckish. But even like the Thick Boy Squad, I like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the also, music is good. You know you saw the merch, dude. The Tiger yeah. Thick oh. fucking jersey. Oh, duh. You got one, dude. <laughs> oh, Think I didn't see that merch. Dude? <laughs> um, the merch is great. I like the shot of like the empty uh, venue, mm -hmm. sitting, kind of basking in the glory of uh, the show that you produce. Yeah, I think it's all great. Do you have a boat? If Bapa fucking directed this, he should quit comedy. Dude. <laughs> What's Bapa's boat's name? Oh, uh, eight inches. Betsy. Betsy. Right. I don't know. Bapa Betsy. I don't know. <laughs> Bapa's <laughs> boat. Yeah. Betsy just sounds like a boat's name. All right, this is uh, almost over. Let's see. Oh. Ryan's so stone faced. Taking it in. Great. Well, I love it, man. So good. Dude. Thanks, dude. Great. Wow. Yeah. Brings a tear to my eye, B. That is a solid song. It's good. Yeah. I'm adding that to the 2023 playlist, daddy. You know, I came here, Chin, because I, I wanted to tell you I want to give you your flowers, okay? Your songs where you're rapping and singing are very good. And I know everyone's not told you that, but I got to tell you right now yeah. that we, and by we, I mean my fat ass, love your shit. Me and my brother Tow Truck love <laughs> Tow that truck, song, dude. <laughs> These are good. <laughs> Jelly Roll's partner's names. New segment <laughs> idea. <Yeah. laughs> Me and right. Ham Sandwich love your shit, brother. <laughs> uh, <all laughs> Me right. and Stoker's Home Cooked Pizza, we think you're great. Okay. Me and little Caesar over here. <laughs> All right. So this one's posted by Parrot Shab. Me it's and Jar of Mayonnaise. <laughs> Helm is mayonnaise. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Take it away, Gerardo. Me and French's mustard over here. <laughs> uh, all right. So this is, I just shopped you. I parroted you. No, no, no. You did great. Uh, th this one's posted by Parrot Shab. It's called Steve-O is Team Bobby. Uh-oh. Yeah. So let's see this one, dude. I had to go to the streamable for this one because uh, so many clips that got caduced on us. Mm. Let's see here. Hard right now. Your role in the in the whole uh, Bobby Lee the saga drama. with the that whole drama with the yeah. all the other comedians. Yeah. With the... I love Bobby. I pro I do too. I, I'm like protective of him because Me I too. love him, and I don't like those guys being dicks to him. I. Uh, but I don't know what your relation. I know you're. Right. Yeah. There, I, you there are certain people yeah. who I took a stand on for Bobby. You did. Yeah. Good. Took a stand for Bobby. And um and and that's how it is. The thing is, like, if you're gonna be a dick to Bobby, <laughs> at least be funny, right? You know, if you're a shitty comedian and being a dick to Bobby, then you really just have nothing going on. Here's the fart. You know why Stevo <laughs> has this view, dude? It's because he's casual. Yeah, he's a casual Brennan Shaw fan. He's not like me and you. Yeah, seven times a week, hawks, mm -hmm. not ducks. Yeah. We are Brendan Schaub fans. Stan. Stans. Okay, right. I, was, I saw you the other day. <laughs> I was yeah. like, the Stan voice. <laughs> yeah. I was writing a shop yeah. thing. Yeah. You didn't write me back. I asked you to be on Timo's. You told me to, you didn't respond. <laughs> That's okay. I still love you, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if I hop in my TRX real quick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you. I don't have hair. You got to bleach your fucking hair, dude. Oh, I've done You've it before. You've got to bleach your hair like Stan. <sighs> Dude. For a, a Brennan Schaub sketch. Okay, how about Sorry, this? You've if, already colored your hair for one show. <laughs> if this fucking episode gets 900 likes, I will do that, dude. He'll bleach his hair. Let's get there, cats. Any way you can. I. This is an idea I just thought of pulled out of my ass. Yeah. But I think it would be great for the show. But what about we bleach your... Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> Good news. Got him. I don't have hair. <laughs> don't start crying, bro. It's okay. I'm going to start. Yeah, listen. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next clip here. Got to close those two. Um, okay, so this one was kind of redacted, but I did laugh, so I wanted you to see it. Oh, nice. Um, it's called Theo Loving Bapa's Dream. Uh, I guess Living Bapa's Dream, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, posted by Complex Situation. That's a cool name. Yeah. Let's see this one, dude. They're <laughs> coming down the track. <laughs> it's me, the sheet in the red and black. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Give me Alabama to break home. <laughs> 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 you're up. Theo, you're up. What happened just now? <laughs> what happened to Theo? What just happened? <laughs> that's crazy dude yeah. college football is out of control <laughs> yeah. I like how he gadooshed uh, Georgia at the end there yeah. with Alabama Funny. Yeah, I, maybe college football we should, we should look into I don't really follow it too much it, I know Brennan I was, knows about it you know dude I need to stop doing this because I think that you're going to say something else oh what and then I just like I lose hope sometimes you know of, of me yeah because <laughs> I fail you because <laughs> I'm so sorry my takeaway was that Pat McAfee dude Woke up at 4.34 that morning before his enemies, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, he saw those Georgia fans, and what yeah. did he say? Good. Exactly. Exactly, me. dude. <laughs> 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 Georgia, fan, Georgia fans watching that and be like, fuck, Pat McAfee just said that Alabama's going to win. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I missed it. <laughs> All right, this one's... Oh, we got a couple more. We got so many clips today, dude. Jeez. This one's posted by Pharrell 80s. It's called Even for Brandon. This is a wild pivot in a week. Come on, that's not his name, dude. Nothing is a wild pivot at this point, but the good title, though. Good yeah. Title. And then Black Belt and Podcasting. Podcasting. <laughs> Podcasting is hilarious. Podcasting, yeah. Let's see here. I miss it on Sunday because they, they went one and one and then they made it to the Sunday game. Sunday, I don't know what's going on. The boys were just off. Maybe they don't like to play on the Lord's Day, but the bats weren't connecting and they uh, they got dealt with, man. They- kids, dude. <laughs> it's so funny. A normal person watching this clip would be like, oh, Dodgers or fucking yeah. some baseball team. He's talking about his children. Yeah. <laughs> it's December, dude. Be cool. Or, oh, yeah, I guess baseball's not going on now. No. I'm not a sports guy, Dee well, well, that's not gadooshing yourself because baseball sucks. You know what I'm <laughs> As you were a Dodger <laughs> dude. <laughs> we're going to get gadooshed from all angles for what with this last 30 seconds. Oh, we're going to get gadooshed in the comment section, dude? Probably. Good. Good. Yeah. This is a Mexico hat, <laughs> Yeah, dude. Tiempo prestado. Ah, that was up. Which means carne as hot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see you. Got dealt we're, with. we're off the I'll rails. You, I love it. Let's go. <laughs> right now, though, I've done a lot of cool things in my life. From <laughs> football, fighting, stand-up, nothing is better than when your kid is playing <laughs> freaking Little League Baseball. Oh, my God. Would your child to eventually be able to support you financially? Hell, yeah. That's what that's I'm talking about kids all the time. <laughs> 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 what? Code switching is hilarious, dude. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Oh my god, let's go. Baseball, because baseball there's no salary cap. Mm. And I don't even like baseball. Mm. <laughs> We're the same guy. <laughs> oh, you don't like baseball? No. Oh shit. I like baseball. <laughs> <laughs> he hates baseball. <sighs> Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. I mean, you know, to be on Brendan's side real quick. When him and Eddie Bravo were talking about it on The Companion, I don't know why I know so much, dude. This is embarrassing that I know a lot about shop. I mean, I think it's if we're, not for our audience. Oh, no, no, no. True, true, true. Yeah. It's part of the job, B. But, <laughs> you uh, clocked in, okay? <laughs> when you clock in at the restaurant, you don't just wait around, dude. Uh, you learn, you make food, and you learn how to make food. Wow, dude. We could put motivational music It's never like, done, dude. Oh, wow. The chef comes up to you, and they're like, did you know that... Brendan just 
mispronounced uh, the name of uh, freaking Joe Biden. <laughs> so you mispronounced Joe Biden's name. You're like, no, dude. You learned that though. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but anyway, I, don't know where I, was going. <laughs> I liked it. I, I could put some motivational music and it'll make it all come together, yeah, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. You want me to do that? <laughs> I yeah, anything to help me, please. Give me another one. Go for it. So you're you're uh <laughs> you're chopping up some carne asada, right? Like you're always. Making the thing. Chef comes up to you and they're like, dude, Brendan just called the president of India gay. <laughs> and you go. You're sweating because you're in the weeds. You're just chopping up. It's like you, you don't know if you can even edit a clip like that. You know how do you how do you make that even funnier? But you do it yeah. good. Not only does Brendan say it, but he wants you to clip it, chin. <laughs> or he wants you to chin it, clip. <laughs> and then they play a rap song where Chin sings. <laughs> good, <laughs> thick boy, thick town. <laughs> oh, but anyways, to finish the thought, him and Eddie Bravo shit on baseball on Joe Rogan. So, right, yeah. Right. So he's, he, dude. He never lies. I keep telling you guys this. Yeah. Um. All right. So this one's called uh, "Big Brown Shutdown." Nice by Haphazard. Finally, a Hap clip, dude. Oh, good to see you, Hap. Oh, uh, let's see here. I say, well, of course, he went. He went against an MMA guy who's a stud. But I was telling him it. it it never made sense to me when they do MMA versus yeah. high level grappler because no. the MMA no. guy is not going to play the game, so it's not that exciting. Well, why? Because the MMA guy stalls and keeps going. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's difficult. You know, like in jujitsu, it, it requires two guys to really want to fight. You know, and make it exciting. You know, and <laughs> you don't really know who wants to fight until they're in there. You know, so it's tough. But I'd uh, imagine the MMA is more just trying to neutralize so they he can blast you in the face as opposed to you know engaging. Yeah, but the, no, I'm, I'm saying they're doing straight jujitsu. <laughs> right. It's an MMA guy who right. he's a black belt, but there's black belts. There's right? levels, like, I have a black belt. I have a black belt. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a big different black. Have you ever rolled with an MMA guy? that gave you fits what no, no, what did fits. brian say there dude god no it's just trying to relate have you ever been to afghanistan <laughs> one thing i'll say about hap is that he's a b -b -b beast of an editor yeah you know very well cut in there you know the reference right what when he fought that one jujitsu guy and didn't really do anything mm -hmm. okay so yeah, yeah. for him to be saying this and to have had that history is uh it's ridiculous buck wildest dude Let's see here. This one's posted by uh, uh, Brosif Yellow. It's mm -hmm. called Just Beat Bapa in My Taco. The subtitle, Walk Me to My Truck with a Peach Emoji. <laughs> this one made me laugh. Uh, we got to pause it at some point and see if it is actually Bapa. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see here. No, <laughs> no that's not no. Baffa, dude. No, that's Chris Evans from uh, the Marvel movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'll do that. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want that, dude. <laughs> no, that's not even Baffa, dude, but it's a good little addition. It's Captain America, B. Is that the first or second truck, dude? Ever heard of it? <laughs> TRX, baby. Demon Raptor. <laughs> yeah, demon time. <laughs> All right, let's go to another hap clip, dude. This one's called These Guys Are Best Friends Who Talk Every Day. <laughs> <laughs> a little good douche, I'm assuming. Let's see. It's show business. It really it's no Let's business. get into my mustache. Let's get into a lot of stuff. Get off my nuts. We just need each other, buddy. You ready, Chin? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> get off my nuts. What if we started like that? Don't you just, again, there's so many times you could edit into like a whole segment of us being like, why wouldn't you edit that out? Why wouldn't you edit that out? <laughs> Didn't you know? Why do you edit that? In? Get off my nuts. <laughs> I said it to you. <laughs> <laughs> or you say it to me. Why Get off my nuts. <laughs> From the beginning of a Jelly Roll song. Yeah. Gives my new song, uh, <laughs> Get Off My Nuts, with my brother Ham ham Potato. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even think of more names for that guy. With my brother Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Which my bro This is my brother Ketchup Sauce. <laughs> Subway. Eat. This is my brother Eat Fresh. <laughs> potato. I think this is my brother Tulsa my right here. Dude. Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, let's watch that one. The beginning is fire, dude. <laughs> Get off my, Get nuts. Off my nuts. 
It's show business. It really it's no Let's business. get into my mustache. Let's get into a lot of stuff. Get off my nuts. We just need each other, buddy. <laughs> you ready, Chin? Yeah, let's go. We started, so. let's, oh, we started? We said let's get into the mustache. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, I spent Thanksgiving <laughs> by myself eating a large pe pepperoni pizza. Have we not talked about Thanksgiving? We haven't been in here in oh my seven God. days. So weird. <laughs> Long, longest whole, break I've ever had. You ate a pepperoni pizza? Because <laughs> my, 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 uh, my, my girl had the emergency C-section, unexpected oh, shit right. hit the fan. So I spent most of the time in the hospital. I had to go back to get all her stuff because we just rushed out of the house. So I go back to the house. And she, We've already seen this part. Is yeah. this, how long is this clip? It was funny that they, their best friends hang out every day and they haven't talked about Thanksgiving <laughs> at all. All right, let's see this one. Fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. It's a good day, buddy. It's, it's a, a good, good day. day. It's, it's a, a good we got day. two things going on. We got baby came home. Baby, well, not yet. Baby, <laughs> okay. we got the okay. We're uh, I we can not know. I just the two. It's it's funny. You anticipated being even funnier yeah. than when he start. We got two things. Okay, <laughs> two things that are big deals. You're like, what's he gonna say, dude? It's a good day because they have two things. <laughs> they usually have nothing. Yeah, that's what Chin's job is, right? Chin's got to bring the topics, dude. Uh, yeah, if you let you should if you let two hawks come in with the top, you want to know what the ducks want to hear, dude. That's why you know it's important for Chin to come up with them. <laughs> right. If I'm Chin, I'm looking at him and I, I'm like Brennan, camo Indians jersey. Why? Yeah. yeah. Why? Why? Pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, are you a Cleveland fan? Yeah. What is this? Uh, it's matching, dude. I mean, to give credit to Brennan though, it's not baseball season. It's basketball. I would expect him to be wearing some basketball gear. You know what I mean? I, I guess he just likes baseball jerseys, you know, and teach his own. But I just like, I don't, you have all these thick boy jerseys. But he hates baseball. <laughs> and he hates baseball. He hates baseball. He hates baseball, but he likes the aesthetic, the aesthetic yeah. of baseball. Best brains, B. All right, let's see. Go pick her up. So baby's out of the hospital. Thank Good. Good. dear sweet Lord. Takes a long time. You get that call, right? Shout out to the Nick unit at Cedar Cyanide. Awesome. They are awesome. angels. Awesome. They are. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys. I'm Why are, there's, I don't know. That's a weird relationship they have, dude. Who? Them two. Oh, yeah. It's like they're just both talking, but not to each other. Yeah. Well, Brian just wants to plug his shows in Melbourne. So oh, true. He's just waiting, killing time. Yeah. Mm. Plug-in shows to cancel them, dude. Mm -hmm. You'd think they would be overdosing on Magic Mind and Rain, you know, the amount mm -hmm. they have there. Who knows what it actually does. Maybe they're drinking it left and right. I, I fear that they're not drinking it. That's why they have their relationships on the rocks, you know? Yeah, not enough. Sometimes you can have not enough Magic Mind. Kratom. <laughs> Kratom. Helix. Helix, dude. Boom. Rain. Boom. Let's see. Aristocrats are back. Aristocrats are back. Um, You're ba well, no, it's not me. You. Yeah, the Aristocrats. I was on daddy duty. Tiger had a uh, for you your fantastic weekend. Yes. Yeah, I got to hear. I was on Let, daddy let's duty. Let's do that. Let me hear. <laughs> Is he solving a Rubik's cube? I think he's opening oh, Rogue that's, Nicotine oh, or Kratom or Magic Mind. Like but it's funny. Yeah, they won't. He's like, before we let you talk, I'm going to talk. And he's like, actually, I'm still talking, but you're talking when I'm talking. <laughs> and both of the stories are boring. Yeah. Mm. I feel like there's a trouble in paradise. I think this is just the way they talk. Oh, they probably yeah. do this with anybody. True. When the, when they're backstage at Rogan's studio. Plus, there's nothing. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing to zap. Like Crowder has nothing to like zap him with. You know, there's yeah. nothing stopping Brian. Yeah. With Brennan Shop talking. So. Yeah. Well, what Brian should do is start slapping that chair. That'll get his attention. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. Well, that's like the new form of podcasting. This is like old school, traditional, where you just talk over each other. Yeah. The new form is slapping chairs, <laughs> knees. Oh, my baby we can't oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I slapped my chair too much there, dude. <laughs> That's all I had to say about oh, that. Okay, yeah. Daddy. Yeah, these new podcasts need spoons. They could start going <laughs> with the spoons. Music? Yeah, bring some music into it. Yeah. Let's see here. And that sounds like oh, a yeah, baby baby came That sounds like what? A Callan bit. And my friend, he was like, a spoon guy. You know, when you're in a fight, you got to get a spoon guy. To make the music where you're kicking his ass <laughs> with a shovel. Let's see. I haven't seen you since. I know. Baby came home. Thank you for giving him mouth to mouth. Uh, yep. Baby came home. So, She's all good, so baby. Weird. She's yep. all good. So yeah, weird. Chang's investigators figure out what that means. Yeah. I don't know what the, I still am confused by that. Yeah. I, I purposely didn't put that clip in here. <laughs> yeah, that we one. can edit it out. No, yeah, we won't, but that's yeah. still just a wild <laughs> thing to say, dude. That's uh, out of pocket, Bapa. 
Imagine if uh, I accused you of giving kids of mine mouth to mouth, dude. Is he saying that he saved the baby's life? Let's just see really quick. One more time. Right here. Uh, yep. Baby came home. Yep. She's all good, baby. She's yep. all good. She has two. I know. Baby came home. Thank you for giving him mouth to mouth. Uh, no. Baby came home. So it's a joke about ba- like saying Brian saved the baby. It's kind of weird, though, because Brian, it's just a weird thing to say. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yep. She's all good, baby. She's yep. all good. She has two brothers. And then Tiger had his first travel ball tournament. Yeah, but then it's just but the, the mo- most times five guys. <laughs> 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 we all give up at the end sometimes. Yeah, dude. Something about five guys. We all know about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the next clip. We only have three left, folks. Please, thank you for staying with us here. It's called Electric Cars Are Like a Microwave Steak, posted by Haphazard, dude. Oh, we got a lot of haps coming in at the last minute right now. Boom. Boom. Let's see here. I really love it. And then also, with you know, with my son, I take him on all the car stuff. Whenever I buy a car, do anything in the car, I always bring him with me. Because this younger generation has come up with all electrical stuff. And it's it's I don't have any issue with electric. It's just... It's not good. So what I tell my son is, he'll be like, yo, dad, is that Tesla faster than this? Or is that electric car faster than someone? Yeah, yeah, it is. I said, uh, just because it's faster doesn't mean the build quality or the amount of work that goes into it is good. I said, so your steak tonight, I can cook it faster in the microwave or I can go old school and put on that fire grill. Which would you rather have? He's like, the grill. I'm like, that's the difference between gas powered and electric. Just because it gets maybe a quarter mile faster doesn't mean it's better. There's a lot that goes into them, man. So they hate Teslas. Every time I see a Tesla, even my four year old was boo. <laughs> boo. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But uh Oh dude. Yeah, he's teaching them young, man. Pretty yeah. soon they're gonna have their own YouTube car show, dude. They're gonna be like working on TRXs and modding and shit, all that. You mm-hmm. they're just like it's the future. You create a dynasty. What do you need to have a dynasty? Eight inches. Exactly. And, uh, you know, they go, boo. And what does Bapa do? Boom. Mm-hmm. Yep. My son saw a Tesla. Good. <laughs> boo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to the last two clips we have here, dude. I know when we're losing wind here. <laughs> like, we are just losing. Like say, yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> I watch that whole thing like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> When we start what we're saying boom and good, you know we're losing our fucking wind. Or are we just getting started? Yeah. You know, Three losing. more hours, daddy. There should be a Rogan episode of Timos, dude. And we should just go like a marathon. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. This one's called uh, Bapa Thinks GTA Footage is IRL. <laughs> <laughs> posted by Uncle TYS. <laughs> and for the ending here, I put these two clips together because wow. people could douche us on TikTok and Instagram for having that mustache thing. But it's, oh, who cares? it's just fucking funny, dude. Yeah. Um, this is not a serious show. You don't need to fact check us like we're Rand DeSantis or Gavin Newsom. Yeah, dude. And also... Anyone that's a fan of Bapa, but you also f- can if you want. Anyone that is a fan of Bapa is a friend of ours, right? So yeah, sure, yeah. Stand up for them all you can online. Let's see. Yeah, here. yeah. Good job, actually. I take it back. Uh, this is a, is that your takeaway? <laughs> that's your takeaway, dude. This is a a post that Brendan Shaw put up. It says Ram TRX launch off highway, escaping the cops. <laughs> which, by the way, I'm, the reason why I'm reading everything that's on screen because Spotify is bussing. B. Oh, People really? are listening to 10 Minutes of Shop on Spotify. Damn. Just a little okay. plug right there. Let's see here. <laughs> I love Shop, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everything he does, dude. He's stupid on every media. <laughs> Wait, dude. No, 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 no. That's why you can't just go around calling him stupid, dude, because he got you. Oh, he got me? Oh, shit. He okay. got you. Damn. How does it feel? Quack, Good. quack, I, quack. Oh, quack. being a duck? Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel in the duck feel, yeah, dude? sometimes you got to be a duck. You can't be a hawk <laughs> every day, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can. Let's see here. Uh, this one's also Uncle TYS called Part 2 of the video game post. Let's go. Let's see. I, 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 I trick people all here? the time. Dude, I, I, I'll post videos of the TRX like flying off yeah, the bridge. Yeah, dude, I, we thought something here. I was like, yo, that's crazy. And then you guys <laughs> well, like, that's, that's a video, video I sent you guys. It was looks that from real, G- Was bro. that from GTA Yeah, you said yes. this is Brett. I posted that. 
<laughs> no, I put you said this is Brendan is TRX. I thought it was real. No, I post them all the time. And I, I didn't go, think this it was is real. Af- right, dude. You think I thought that was real? Duck alert. You, do you think I thought that was real? No, I mean, I hope not. No, no, no. <laughs> I pray to God. No, I pray I, to God I mean, you didn't. I choose, I do choose to believe that Brendan thought that was real. Okay. So I, in my painted narrative, <laughs> yeah. it's more funny to me if Brendan thought that was a real clip. Yeah. Because it's so clearly a video game. Well, that's what I meant. I knew you we wouldn't think it's real, but I, I thought that you would think that he would think it was real. Right. right? Well, in in my ideal, in my emotional truth, mm-hmm. my you know, like Hassan Minaj, my emotional truth is that he thought it was real, even though he just said it was. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Lynette, oh, okay. The idea that Brendan is like a prankster, yeah. that's a stretch. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. He's like, I make stuff up all the time. I told him this lie about this. I don't know how much of that. It's hard to know what is, tr- again, we're in the world, the Chang's verse. Yeah. Baba verse, Togan verse. Mm-hmm. Define real bullying, not. dude. Exactly, dude. Yeah. These Reddit thing, I don't even know. Yeah, there's people all, all like there's database. There's rooms full of people with databases yeah. typing away. Friars, friars. There's the friars are going at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's all trying to take Brendan down. Mm-hmm. But Brendan's not gonna do that, dude. No, no, dude. You know what I heard right now, dude? The 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 uh, steps of a horse. Yeah. I heard you being like, Brendan got me right now, dude. He no, got gotcha. you. That's a painted narrative. <laughs> a painted narrative say, from a lying... He got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> Carne asada. <laughs> Chile on. Let's see here. Absolutely 100% real. All my damn like, hey, dumbass, this is yeah. a video game. That's why I post it. Oh, I didn't know damn. that. Was but wait, the new GTA 6 trailer came out. But it- <laughs> why would you want people to send you a message saying you're an idiot? Yeah, I mean... Dude, only a thousand can do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm so dude. confused. Yeah. But I still love it. In my mind, I, I'm like, the character of Brendan is more important than the actual Brendan. Yeah. Well, that I think that's it for the show. So we're going to hop over to the Patreon and do a little quick episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, yeah, check out Raccoon Tweeties, dude. See you later.